Let's see here, what did I just pick up? Stone chipper. Oh, shh. I wish I had a knife right now. Reason? Look, Ma, no hands. So I could sneak up behind the freaking monsters and stab them from behind. Ugh. God, I hate adjusting the volume for all these videos. I'm always going in to the volume control and just basically looking at it and thinking to myself, what should the volume be right now? Because I'm trying to get both a clear sound, uh, like because my microphone, um, actually it's not my microphone, it's actually my sound card. Oh god, we're going to have to remember remember which way we went, aren't we? No, well, luckily, we don't have to. All right, Sandy's returned. Hush. I heard a sound. Hey, you hear a sound too. What could that sound mean? Hmm. Could it mean something is going to kill us? Nah, what am I doing? Kitchen storage. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. What did you do, Daniel? He escaped. Where is he now? This means run. Stop! Don't come any 
Surprised this even worked. <laughs> I am so fucked. Oh, Tinderbox, you are not my only friend. You know, I'm not even gonna believe the idea. Probably, actually, no. Now that I think about it, Sandy isn't being given back because of staying the light. It's kind of is, but it's probably more so having to do with, oh, say, like finding key items or whatever. Like, example, finding that hammer and um, chisel from before helped with sanity because I don't know it just helped or it does fuck contradicting myself then again I'm wrong and I usually accept how wrong I am oh god hello Let's just open this chest. What was that? What is this? Kidding me, it's made of rubber or adamantium or something. You know, I'd much rather have a torch than a lantern. Uh, maybe. And eh, no, fuck that idea. Is 
still there? Probably not. I'm always whispering. What am I talking about? Wait, is this blood? No, no, it's not blood. It's paint. What am I checking Harry for? Well, backtracking isn't all that bad. This isn't technically backtracking, though. I have this eerie gut feeling that I forgot something in that other room. I saw something. I'm gonna call this barrel barrel. Or uh, Daryl. It'll protect me from the sun. Wait. <laughs> that actually would be quite the idea. Throw a barrel at the monster and see if it gets hurt. Not only is that quite the idea, it actually probably would work. Hush. Hey, anybody? I believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Hmm. We promise real dynamic shadows, says Todd Howard. <sighs> oh, I could go on, on about that little subject right there. Oh, an actual dead body. I was beginning to think everyone just disappeared. Buddy, yo, yo. Wait a second. You look familiar. Did you die just now? Wait, I have an idea. Body is still warm. Looks like there's a killer on the loose. <laughs> oh, oh man. Third of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm...